best to cover give you some ideas what's going on here but it's really a, a loose jam here so I kind of gotta do note for note but the, the thing is to get the some ideas and do the let it then free later when you improvise you know, hopefully <laughs> so yeah we're gonna start with the like the chord behind it, after that I go more into the solo thing, so like the intro is not so uh, complicated and sometimes you just pick uh, open strings so it's E, G, A, B, B line here. Later on you got more chords but it starts slowly the tone of the song. So here is he does like So the chord are really like B, B minor. I'm oh, sorry, it starts on E. E minor, G, and B e minor. So let's take a look. Uh, the whole song is gonna play like a different place so like the G could be here it could be here E minor could be here could be here. Uh, just to add some kind of uh, variety There's more some cool. Uh... So this minor seven, and then and sometimes you just go to A before going to. You got the idea now it's it's always those kind of three chords and uh... mm -hmm. 
And of course, sometimes he, he likes he loves to do something, especially on the B chord, which is longer. And sometimes he just do a kind of a ninth chord, but without the not this chord. It's important to practice the rhythm too, not just only soloing because when you play with some of your friends, you gotta be able to groove and have different kind of like, okay, I can do my key minor here. Provide a different place and a kind of groove. And also, when you're soloing, you you have like to hear this backing track all the time. So you're gonna take a look now what's going on when you solo a little bit. So one of the first lick is like so it's playing the same pole and bending. We're in B minor. So this is a cool one. So you see here sometimes he he knows we're between the G and the X. So he goes to that note. soloing but he goes he goes back you know he's always listening to the backing track <laughs> and in this song there's a lot of uh, like tremolo picking And I suggest you not to like freak out. Oh, he's doing two not here, one here, three there. You can just go with the flow. Anyway, you, you get the idea. So you, you have to practice this. It's a good exercise. What I can see with this is to have like a any a, a little angle to like a, have a good tone. If you like, you know, you have to a little bit. Not. It could work. It's a special effect, but in general, we want like a. a little slight angle with the uh, full tone all right so so here so I suggest you also to like know what's of, of course you know in Drake's we are often in the first position but it's good to know like where you are on the fretboard so like so you understand like because sometimes it's there but anyway slowly you have to do the pentatonic over all the fretboard so where we at we were at this uh, lake here
right? And then... So again here he does like his solo. All this is like, as I mentioned before, like the other position. And then once in a while you go back to like to the chord straight. So this is like he, he does major, but it's in fact it's a minor chord. G. Then you go back to solo. difficult because it's not in the common position but it's just pentatonic like in B just different position so you have to know we're in that position here and then there's a cool one here we bend and with the pinky. So, and sometimes he picks up. So, and you notice sometimes we we bend with the first finger. Other time it's even the song. Depends where you are. But here. Stay Ben here, two step. And then again the tremolo. It's not exactly what he's doing here, but you have the idea. Then he just hammered with the open strings. Licks you can remember with your pentatonic. And after that, he's gonna do octave on the first, first string. Then he slide like this. It's always like bending with double st strings. Again, 
and just kind of tricks and tricks tricks you, on two strings you can like do it you just go down all right that's the kind of thing he's doing here Simple paint that I here, but sometimes with that note, like in this major chord here, D. Slide on the second string yeah, for a long time. I mean, you get you get the high idea. You it's just have different kind of licks, so you can like do your own after that. Like, with the same ideas. Again, this kind of thing. Just like paint that and stuff again, but with some feeling. To the hand, there's a lick like. So it's kind of like a, another key here, just to end the, the song. This song it's really to jam and get loose. And, uh, I hope you I give you some uh, ideas here and uh, see you later. Bye bye.